The Nepal Oil Corporation has reduced the price of petrol, diesel and kerosene by 10 rupees each, which has come into effect from today. The corporation's decision to lower the price of petroleum products has come as a respite to the public as this is the first decrease in the price in months. The rates of petroleum products went down due to the May 24th cabinet decision to readjust the taxes on petroleum products and also on the basis of the price difference on the border with India. Good morning, I'm Abhidei Shrestha and these are the headlines of the hour. Position CP and UML bent on breaking the five-party coalition, tables a political equation to Nepal and Daha, offering either of them with prime ministerial roles. 61 bills at risk of being scrapped as political parties prioritize remaining elections. Government makes preparation to take citizenship and civil service bills ahead. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky says Russian forces have seized 20% of his country's territory as Moscow's invasion nears its 100th day, says around 50 embassies have resumed work in Kiev. And Coco Gauff brushes aside Martina Trivisan to become the youngest female player after Clint Chrysler's to reach French Open final, sets up a final against world number one Iga Swiatek. Main opposition CPNUML, which was reduced to second position from the recently concluded local level election, has begun political gambits to disintegrate the ruling coalition. At a time when Nepali Congress, the party which benefited the most from the alliance, is looking, to, looking forward to lead the next government as well, opposition CPNUML is seen willing to offer the designation of prime minister to senior leaders from CPN Mao Center and CPN Unified Socialists. CPN UML has expedited its effort to break down the ruling coalition before the provincial and federal elections. The opposition party has proposed of giving the designation of prime minister to CPN Maoist Center or CPN Unified Socialists. According to CPN Unified Socialist Chairperson Madhav Kumar Nepal, CPN UML Chairperson KP Sharma Oli had proposed of electing him as the prime minister. CPN UML currently is in the back foot and is concerned about possible losses in the upcoming elections as well. Sources have said that CPN UML therefore has presented the offer to CPN Maoist Center as well. CPN Maoist Center Chairperson Pushpa Kamal Dahal's warning to Nepali Congress not to take his party for granted has been taken as a hint of the same. As leaders of other parties in the coalition have begun questioning Nepali Congress's role in the local election, leaders of CPN Unified Socialist have begun speaking about difficulties in sustaining the coalition with Nepali Congress. Janata Samazwadi party does not seem content with the coalition either. In the given scenario, other parties in the current alliance are likely to switch sides for their own interests and benefits, which could prove detrimental to Nepali Congress in the upcoming polls. However, it remains to be seen if leaders Dahal and Nepal will be obliged to take the bait floated by CPN UML Chairman Oli. More than 60 bills, including those related to citizenship and civil service, are stranded at the House of Representatives. Some of the bills have not witnessed any progress because of political division. Preparations are underway to present some of such bills at the Parliament at the earliest. However, with the parties expediting preparations for the parliamentary election, the future of the bills remains uncertain. The citizenship bill registered at the Parliament on 7th of August 2018 was endorsed by the State Affairs and Good Governance Committee last year. However, the bill is yet to be presented in the Parliament for its endorsement. The government had withdrawn the Federal Civil Service Bill on 8th of October last year. However, with increasing pressure from all corners, preparations are underway to take these two bills ahead. It has been understood that other bills related to civil aviation, abuse of authority, human rights, public service and police are to be taken ahead on the basis of priority. Another bill has also been registered at the Parliament to remove the statute of limitations in criminal activities related to sexual violence and rape. Consensus among political parties can lead to immediate conclusion of some bills. However, with the parties focusing on the upcoming elections, conclusion of these bills seem a complicated task. As the government is preparing to declare the provincial and parliamentary elections, most of these stranded bills are likely to be automatically scrapped. 
Nepal Oil Corporation has reduced the price of petrol, diesel and kerosene by 10 rupees each. The revised prices are in effect from today. Following the revision, petrol will now cost 170 rupees per liter, while kerosene and diesel will now be available at 153 rupees per liter. Meanwhile, the price of cooking gas has not been changed. Consumers had begun protesting the rise in petroleum products. The meeting of the Nepal Oil Corporation yesterday had decided to slash the price after correspondence from the Ministry of Finance to the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Supplies to lower the price. The government has put forward projects of fast track from Kathmandu to Chitwan, Sunsari to Everest Base Camp and Chitwan to Butwal in the budget for the coming fiscal year. However, the government has not allocated any budget for these mega projects. In such a situation, the implementation of these projects by the investment board faces several complications. The budget has included the construction of fast tracks under the title of Nepali Aspirations Transformative infrastructure projects. The government has put forward a fast track from Kathmandu to Chitwan, which would take an hour to cover the distance between the two cities. Likewise, the Chitwan Rampur Butwal and Chitwan Rampur Pokhra sections have also been included in the budget. However, the government aspiration of reducing the time for travel from Kathmandu to Pokhra and Butwal and to the Everest Base Camp has been termed projects without adequate funding sources and impossible by the opposition. The government aims to take most of the fast-track projects through the investment board. With the government not having adequate financial resources, experts have shared their concerns about the private sector's capacity to invest in these mega projects. They have added that these projects included in the budget without adequate preparations cannot be implemented in the current scenario. While these projects are not impossible, most analysts have said that they have been introduced in the budget to win public votes for the coming elections. Surfacing of new diseases and pandemics is a routine course in the world. There are chances of new diseases and pandemics appearing in the future as well. Possibilities remain high for the identification of such new diseases in Nepal as well. Research and studies play a significant role in formulating strategies for identification and combating against such diseases. However, despite the existence of a research entity in Nepal, it has yet to perform to expectations. Inoculation drive against coronavirus has marked over a year and a half in Nepal. The government is currently administering the booster dose to many. However, there have been no research regarding the success of the vaccines. Likewise, research is yet to be conducted regarding the possible impact of monkeypox in the country. Nepal Health Research Council's Council is soldiered with the responsibility of conducting and monitoring such research in the country, but it has failed in producing research works of national significance. The Center for Disease Control has directed governments and other entities for identification, causes and combat measures of diseases in several countries. With no such entity in existence in Nepal so far, the government has introduced the plan of forming CDC in the budget for the coming fiscal year. Experts have said that forming CDC would not be adequate in the absence of state-of-the-art laboratories and expert scientists. The government had introduced its plan of enhancing capacity of the NHRC in the budget two years ago as well. The project, however, was never implemented. In such a situation, it remains to be seen if the CDC will meet a similar unfortunate fate. And it's time now for our segment, Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Here's the question. What should be done to ensure impactful research in health sector? Your options are A, introduce sound projects, B, increase budget and infrastructure, and C, recruit qualified human resource. Type NEWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. In our public voice segment, we had asked several people in several provinces regarding their opinion on the accessibility of public services. Let's take a look at what they had to say. And 
that's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.